All right, now I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to do a drop shadow on the addresses. There's about four addresses, so there's quite a few numbers, four, four times 16 numbers. And I'm going to do a drop shadow, but rather than doing the background color, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a little trick that's like a transparent background. I'm going to take some quick rubbing varnish that's used for um, gold leaf glass work, and I'm going to put that in a cup. And this dries in about 30 minutes, so if you're in a hurry, bada bing, bada boom. It's going to create like a transparent shadow. Rather, you know, so it'll, you'll see the background colors since I have stripes, and the uh, shadow is going to go across the stripes. Then um, it'll look like a real shadow. I'm just going to use a little bit of this Decor Black, which is a silk screening dries. It's a silk screening paint. It dries in uh, in about 10 minutes, and it's also made for used for backing on gilding on glass as well. So it's quick drying, both quick drying. So you kind of got to work quickly. And um, d the black goes a long way, so you don't have to use too much. And I got a sample board here with the stripes, so I can see how it's going to look before I start putting it on the board. It's the sign panel itself. Oop, I'm still splashing it all over the place. And when it dries, it'll look more like a sh real shadow than like painting brown on the background so let's see what this looks like see there you go you see I, it's that's actually pretty pretty good right there you want it to be subtle you don't want it to be super super you don't want it to be super uh, dark you want it to be i might even want it to be a little more subtle than that so i'm going to put a little more i want it to be really super subtle Yeah, might even empty a little of this out. Put a little bit more in there. So I don't want it to be. I want it to look like a real shadow. Let's see if that helps. Okay, I like that. Okay, time to put the gold size on. First, I'm going to put some Gilder's Kaolin powder on here so that the uh, so that the gold doesn't stick to the one shot. It is really hard to get off of one shot, especially one shot this fresh. Again, there's always uh, the difference between drying, dried, and cured one shot. One shot dries in about an hour, less if it's hot. Curing is about three weeks. And that should do it. Also, I put a sheet down around it so that uh, Makes cleanup a lot easier. Uh, I put powder all over the place because this gold can fly. All right, now it's just a matter of uh, taking the and I'm using uh, uh, fast dry, gold size, one shot, 4008, and this is ready to go in about 45 minutes. So this process from this S to this E. Needs to go pretty f at a pretty good clip, just so it dries evenly. So once I get started, there's no stopping me. So here I'm just gonna bring it around. Just like I do with the yellow, except now it's gonna go a little faster. And a project like this, I would only do I would only do one side at a time. Um, especially this many letters because there, there really wouldn't be any way I could, unless I had another person helping me, 
to um, get to the other side in time. And other than using the slow side, if I use uh, slow slow size, if I use the slow size, I have all the time in the world. I could put the size on and come back tomorrow and, and put the gold on. But since I'm using quick size, everything's got to happen fast because every second counts and everybody's in a hurry and the sign needs to be in place. Because the sign, this sign that I'm replacing was hit by a car. Uh, somebody smashed into it. And, um, and I gave him the option of repairing that one versus making a new one. And fortunately, they picked making a new one. I like this Gilder's powder because it's super duper fine and uh, it does the job. It keeps the gold from sticking to the paint and the, the uh, uh, sizes blast right through it. And you don't have to worry about it affecting the surface or the, or the size. And also, when you're, uh, as you're going, you can look in a certain light, you can see places that you've missed because it'll be matte where the size will be glossed. Like there's a spot right there, and the light right there. Those are going to be all holidays if you don't hit them. There's one I missed. You see them all in the light. Like the I got the uh, fluorescent lights above me, and this looks like a little drip right here. Let me just knock that out of there. Here's a big gap right there. So those are all going to be holidays, and it's it's better to it's better to do it. Uh, try to get it all covered the first time, so you don't have to come back and fill in holidays. It's just a lot better to take the time to check it, check everything. Make sure you don't have it'll it'll be a it'll be matte instead of glossy because the size is glossy. It's about eight minutes it took me to get from S to E. Pretty sticky. Pretty sticky. It's been about almost about over 40 minutes. About 45 minutes is usually a good barometer. But I've noticed that. Um, but I noticed waiting too long, uh, it gets a little harder to stick on this surface. And um, I use patent leaf, which is uh, pounded and, and adhered. Not adhered, but Basically, it's um, on a surface that keeps that holds the holds the gold onto the surface, and I would use this for the only reason why I'd use loose leaf is for um, mirrored glass. That's the, that'd be the only time. Otherwise, I'd just use this. For, I would never use loose leaf for something like this. That'd be way too difficult to handle. This is already on there. All I have to do is just apply it. Basically, this super easy. Just bingity bing bang boom. If it was loose leaf it would just be flying all over the place right now. And just go off and around and this is this is where it's you know, you just gotta just gonna apply it on there, get as much as the get as much off the uh, page as you possibly can. And that's a little that's a little tag. There's gonna be some places that's a little uh, little less dry than others simply because it's a little thicker. There's, it's just going to be a little bit thicker in some places. And that's the reason. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to use that. And I have just enough, I believe, to do to do this side, I hope. I have more coming. And you can see if you have a bigger sheet, that little half sheet was was uh, just getting little bits of it. And then you can come back um, later and do, and you know, because there'll be little teeny pieces all over the sheet that you can come back and do small areas that you missed. Small areas that you missed, because there's going to be a lot of those. So, I mean, you can do this as slow or fast as you want. You just, you know, it's, just, it's just a matter of getting it on there. And I'm just going to keep dropping. I'm up. I'm standing up on a table. That's why, because the sign is 
eight feet tall. So it's probably not a good idea to put on that. And this is all there is to it. So I'll just keep doing this and then I'll come back to you later. Okay, now that most of the gold is on it, um, so you can see it's kind of floating around there, and I'm going to use some of that to push into some of the, the holidays with this brush. It's a, you know, it's a basically a gilder's brush for doing exactly this. And you can use a makeup brush or whatever. Um, and then also I'm going to have a, a shop vac that I'm going to hold up close to it so I can collect all that loose gold that's about to fly all over the shop because that's when I don't want that to happen. It gets everywhere. Uh, now some people will save this gold in little containers and put it on their cupcakes and things like that. Um, yeah, not into that, so that's okay. Everybody to each their own. So here we go. here that's a little gritty. Other than that, it's pretty good. I can come back now and add, uh, fill in holidays with these scraps of pieces that I have. Wherever I see a little holiday, I can uh, go ahead and use one there. Keep doing that until you don't see any more of the imitation one shot, imitation gold one shot. That right there is where it was. It's a little. It was a little. The uh, size is a little thick, and so it didn't dry. So you just put some more gold over the top of that and uh, burnish it lightly. Not burnish it, but dust it. That's the word for that with the brush and then I hit that with the vacuum cleaner <laughs> I covered it right up now I could save um, otherwise I think we we got it pretty good now there's a few uh, techniques that we could do with this we could engine turn it or you know there's all kinds of patterns and things like that you can do with this um, and I was thinking about leaving it just matte here's one that's engine turned and here's one that's just matte left matte I think for this case I think it would be otherwise it's going to look like the fire department so I think I'm just going to leave it uh, just plain yeah here we go okay well it's the next day and the gold has size has dried nicely and actually improves when it dries. It gets all evened out. Looks really sweet. Now I'm just going to go ahead and throw a one-shot lettering enamel black outline around the whole thing. And this side will be done. And I just got to wait for my gold to show up FedEx to do the other side. Takes a little more concentration. But this really cleans up the gold edge really nicely and also makes it pop.
Okay, out with the old, in with the new. It's been raining like crazy for the last few weeks, so the soil is really soft. Switch hats to professional landscaper. I like to clean off the posts with isopropyl alcohol to make them nice and pretty. Now the sun's just coming up so you can get a glimpse of that pretty gold in the sunshine when it hits. Thanks for watching. Happy sign making.